Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the day. The Uttar Pradesh Cabinet has approved an increase in the floor area ratio by 0.5, thus paving the way for extra realty space along the metro corridors in Greater Noida. The new FAR will be applicable within a 1,000 meter radius of the metro corridors in Greater Noida. The approval for the amendment in Greater Noida's building regulation came through a cabinet meeting held by the state government recently. Bangalore-based realty major MJ Infrastructure plans to invest 1,000 crore rupees in Kerala in the next two years. Company chairman and managing director Dr. P. Anil Kumar said the company had planned five residential projects with three in Kochi, one each in Tiruvannantapuram and Kottayam. The SR Group has sold its luxury housing project in Bangalore for 300 crore rupees to SNN builders as part of the company's strategy to monetize non-core assets. The company had last month sold its 1.25 million square feet Equinox Business Park at Bandra Kulla Complex in Mumbai to realty firm RMZ Corporation for about 2,400 crore rupees. Now some good news if you are planning to buy loans. Short term working capital loans have become cheaper as banks will adopt the marginal cost of funds based lending rate from today. The new framework requires banks to set rates based on their marginal cost of funds rather than their average cost of funds and was introduced to improve the transmission of cuts in policy rates to the end borrowers. State Bank of India, HDFC Bank and Bank of Baroda have already detailed their MCLR benchmarks for various loan maturities. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.